Advanced Unit 12. I do want to start working at my bookstore. JP, I missed you so bad. Thanks for picking me up at the airport. My pleasure. I hate to arrive from a trip and have no one waiting for me at the airport. How was everything? Although I hated having not seen any hot guys during the trip, I visited awesome places, learned new aspects of their culture, and took over 400 pictures. Wow, that's a lot. I love seeing pictures. And I love to take photos. But when I get home, I'll make a beeline for bed. I guess the flights made your head spin. I want to propose having lunch together tomorrow. Wow, you read my mind. I was going to propose to have lunch tomorrow too. Deal. Now you need to start thinking about the pre-opening of your store. You're right. It'll be in 10 days. I'll start to call people tomorrow. I prefer sending an invitation first, then I would call. I'm a bit lazy. I prefer to call them tomorrow, and then I'll call them again on the eve before to confirm. As you wish. Text me when you wake up and we'll make arrangements for tomorrow. Now listen to the slower version. Versão mais lenta com a tradução ao português. Pause o vídeo se necessário para assimilar a informação. JP, I missed you so bad. Thanks for picking me up at the airport. My pleasure. I hate to arrive from a trip and have no one waiting for me at the airport. How was everything? Although I hated having not seen any hot guys during the trip, I visited awesome places, learned new aspects of their culture, and took over 400 pictures. Wow, that's a lot. I love seeing pictures. And I love to take photos. But when I get home, I'll make a beeline for bed. I guess the flights made your head spin. I want to propose having lunch together tomorrow. Wow, you read my mind. I was going to propose to have lunch tomorrow too. Deal. Now you need to start thinking about the pre-opening of your store. You're right. It'll be in 10 days. I'll start to call people tomorrow. I prefer sending an invitation first, then I would call. I'm a bit lazy. I prefer to call them tomorrow, and then I'll call them again on the eve before to confirm. As you wish. Text me when you wake up and we'll make arrangements for tomorrow. Hello guys and welcome to our Click.English class. Today's topic is verbs plus infinitive or gerund. And you will also learn five new idioms. Are you ready? Let's get started! There are some verbs in English which can be followed by gerund or infinitive. Há verbos em inglês que podem ser seguidos de gerúndio, ou seja, o verbo com ing, ou infinitivo. Estes verbos são begin, continue, hate, intend, like, love, propose, start, and prefer. Lembrem-se que intend significa pretender e não entender. I began to study or I began studying. Tem o mesmo significado, as duas estão corretas. Eu posso dizer... I began to study, eu comecei a estudar, or I began studying, eu comecei a estudar, ok? Traduzimos igual, o uso é igual. He started to cook, or he started cooking, ele começou a cozinhar. Depois do verbo start, eu posso usar o to, he started to cook, ou o ing, he started cooking. I love to eat pizza, or I love eating pizza. Isso aprendemos no curso básico. Lembrem que I love to é mais comum nos Estados Unidos, enquanto que I love eating é mais comum na Inglaterra. Eu disse mais comum, não que seja exclusivo, ok? I like to learn languages, or I like learning languages. Eu gosto de aprender línguas. O mesmo exemplo do anterior. Eu gosto de... I like to. O to é mais comum 
nos Estados Unidos. I like learning é mais comum na Inglaterra. Mas também vocês vão escutar uh, like com ing nos Estados Unidos e também vão escutar like com to na Inglaterra. É menos comum, ok? Usar I like to learn na Inglaterra é mais comum usar I like learning, mas se usam os dois nos dois países. I prefer to work in the morning. Or I prefer working in the morning. O prefer, quando eu estou falando, eu prefiro fazer uma coisa, prefiro fazer, prefiro comer, sem comparar duas coisas, ok? Porque quando eu já falo, eu prefiro fazer isso do que comer, aí tem outra estrutura. Se eu tenho só um verbo na frase, depois do prefer, este verbo posso colocá-lo. I prefer to work ou I prefer working. Eu prefiro trabalhar, ok? Or I prefer to do, eu prefiro fazer. Or I prefer doing. Então, esses verbos eu posso usar ou com ing ou com o to. Let's repeat. I began to study. Repeat. I began studying. He started to cook. Repeat. He started cooking. I love to eat pizza. Repeat. I love eating pizza. I like to learn languages. I like learning languages. I prefer to work in the morning. I prefer working in the morning. Excellent work. We say, would prefer to do, would like to do, would love to do. Prestem atenção se eu uso would, eu apenas posso usar o verbo no infinitivo. I would prefer to go, I would prefer to do, I would prefer to watch. O mesmo com o verbo like, o mesmo com o verbo love. Só posso usar o to, não posso falar I would prefer doing. Errado, ok? Shall we go by train? Well, I'd prefer to go by car. Então, eu não posso falar I'd prefer going, porque eu tenho would. Depois do would, I would prefer to. I'd prefer to stay at home tonight rather than go to the cinema. Agora, vejam outra estrutura do prefer. Quando eu estou comparando duas ações, I'd prefer to stay at home tonight rather than go to the cinema. Eu preferiria ficar em casa essa noite em vez de ir ao cinema. Então, para falar em vez de, com I'd prefer, eu sempre uso rather than. Mas, prestem atenção que depois do rather than, eu uso o verbo no infinitivo sem o to. Rather than go. Não posso falar rather than going, nem rather than to go. Errado. Rather than go, rather than watch, rather than see. Qualquer verbo sem o to. Ok? Então, a gente usa I'd prefer to do something. Eu preferiria fazer algo. Rather than do something else. Em vez de fazer uma outra coisa. All right? Vejam que would rather do é igual would prefer to do. Então, eu posso falar I would rather stay at home é o mesmo que I would prefer to stay at home. Mas, novamente, I would rather eu uso com o infinitivo sem o to. I would rather stay. Eu preferia ficar. I would prefer to stay. Com o prefer, eu uso to. Com o rather, eu não uso to. All right? I would rather go. Eu preferiria ir. I would rather eat. Eu preferiria comer. How would you reword the sentence using a synonym? She would rather work part-time. Ela preferiria trabalhar meio período. Um sinônimo de she would rather... She would prefer to work part-time. 
Repeat the sentence twice after me, please. She would prefer to work part-time. Again.